Hey, welcome back. It's a uh, wicked Women Wednesday show today on Liquid Lunch. I'm John Tobacco. We're coming to you live from the Newsmax uh, Question Tequila Studios in downtown Manhattan. Just down the street a little further is the New York Stock Exchange. The market's up about 60 today, so it's doing okay. Um, and what's happening down in Washington is not okay, Frankie. Uh, you have your own some strong views on this impeachment stuff. Well, look, I, I um, respect Ambassador Taylor, who's testifying now, uh, and a West Point grad and a guy that served the country, uh, a, a war hero, literally, literally, for his work in Vietnam. But it seems to me as if uh, Adam Schiff and these other guys are trying to criminalize policy differences. You know, it's no secret that Donald Trump had a different view of how to deal with Eastern Europe than his predecessors did. And then he keeps all the same folks that Obama had and Bush had, or many of the same folks. And then it looks like they're trying to impeach him because he had a different point of view of how to handle the situation. Uh, the president of Ukraine says there was nothing, no quid pro quo. We can read the transcript for ourselves and see that that's the case. Um, and even if there were, I don't really see how that rises to the level of high crimes and misdemeanors. Let's check in with uh, Ambassador Taylor and what's happening at the impeachment hearing. Um, he, former Ukrainian investigative journalist, and then he was a member of the parliament, about the Manafort Black Ledgers in August of 2016. Um, I mean, the very day that was published, uh, Mr. Manafort uh, resigned from the campaign, correct? I don't know, Mr. Castor. Um, but certainly that gives rise to some concern that there are elements of the Ukrainian establishment that were out to get the president. That's a very reasonable uh, belief of his. Correct? I, I don't know. Um, the, you mean, the run up to the, the 2016 election, um, there's, there's many facts that remain unresolved. Agreed? I'm sorry, what's the question? There are many facts relating to the run up of the 2016 election that remain unresolved. Any further? Uh, well, Attorney General Barr in, in, in May of 2019 tasked the U.S. Attorney for Connecticut, John Durham, um, to broadly examine the government's collection of intelligence involving the president's campaign. That uh, effort in initially was an administrative uh, review, has turned into a criminal probe. And, and U.S. Attorney uh, Durham is, is casting tale, a wide uh, net and is, is following and, uh, the facts where they you know, may lead. Decorated war uh, you veteran, aware of that? a longtime uh, intelligence asset ambassador, an consul general. And, um, and so to the extent does look a little flustered right there. Well, I don't know that he looks flustered, but they're asking him questions he's really not qualified to answer. They're asking him campaign questions when the guy was busy being a diplomat in Eastern Europe. Well, the, the Democrats are framing it one way, that it was for political gain. The Republicans are saying they were looking into corruption leading up to the 2016 election. So we're going to get back into that and uh, plenty more, kicking off Hour 2 right after this with Jen Kearns. <laughs>